Fox News. The FBI says the 17-year-old suspect had been communicating with an Al-Qaeda-affiliated group. This individual was also sending and receiving media containing terrorist propaganda and guidance on committing to criminal acts, including how to construct a bomb. FBI Philadelphia Special Agent in Charge Jacqueline McGuire says most concerning is evidence that the teen had access to firearms and had purchased items commonly used to make improvised explosive devices, some of those purchases made in recent weeks. For now, they're not releasing the suspect's name, calling it a very active and ongoing investigation. However, they say there is no current threat to the public. The FEMA administrator is in Hawaii meeting with state officials and survivors of the deadliest wildfires in modern U.S. history. And housing is one of the biggest issues. The focus remains down on the beach in Lahaina, where a crisis there is developing really about housing. You have basically 5,000 individuals who've now been less homeless, right? They have nowhere to go. And here's what they had to say. Right over there. I'm born and raised here. And I was planning on raising my three-year-old daughter there. Lahaina was really small, nice historical place, and it's gone. So they've secured about 500 hotel rooms, and they're working with landlords to turn some vacation rentals into long-term housing for those victims. Another challenge, as of this weekend, cadaver dogs had only worked about 3% of Lahaina's disaster zone. Fox says William Lajeunesse on Maui, where at least 96 deaths are confirmed as the search for people unaccounted for continues. The White House insisting again today that the Justice Department is independent. They're referring questions about the Hunter Biden special counsel probe to DOJ and to Hunter Biden's attorneys. After a mixed session, stocks finish higher. The Dow up 26 points at the bell. America is listening to Fox News. The Dell Technologies Back to School event is on with deals on top tech for class, hobbies, and more. Now, when you buy, you support a cause. With every eligible purchase, Dell will donate to UNICEF in support of GIGA, a UNICEF ITU global initiative to connect schools across the globe to the Internet. Accidental damage protection included. Get rare deals on select laptops and desktops powered by the latest Intel Core processors. Save now at dell.com slash deals. UNICEF does not endorse any company, brand, product, or service. Wake up, people. You are optimizing every waking hour of your life. From carpooling kids, to work, to friends, and everything in between. You have to get sleep. And a bed that can perform as well as you do. Meet the next generation Sleep Number Smart Bed. It effortlessly adjusts to your shape, position, and movements. Learning how you sleep, so you learn to sleep better. Night after night. Sleep next level, only from Sleep Number. It's the biggest sale of the year. Save 50% on the Sleep Number Limited Edition Smart Bed. Plus special financing ends Monday. See store for details. Chicago has a new top cop. Today, a new chapter begins. Chicago Mayor Brandon Johnson officially announcing his selection of Larry Snelling as the city's next police superintendent. A 28-year veteran of CPD, most recently its counterterrorism chief, who says the heart of public safety is compassion, empathy, and problem solving. I am going to put in the work. You will have my total and complete dedication. We will work with everyone. Everyone will have a voice. Snelling was one of three finalists up for superintendent after David Brown stepped down in spring. He's still subject to city council approval. Jeff Manasso, Fox News. Three men found dead in a car parked outside an elementary school in Indianapolis. A fourth man is hospitalized. Police say there were no obvious signs of trauma. School officials say buses were detoured to avoid that scene and students are safe. North Korea's leader calling for ramped up missile production while condemning another round of joint military drills between the U.S. and South Korea. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un today vowing overwhelming military power to annihilate enemies and that the country would be ready for war. This ominous warning comes a week before annual joint military drills between the U.S. and South Korea. Field trainings are expected to be the largest in years, and the two countries will also conduct intensive computer simulated exercises. Fox is Alex Hogan in London. The Tampa Bay Rays just announcing that the team and all-star shortstop Wander Franco have mutually agreed that the 22-year-old will go on the restricted list while Major League Baseball looks into social media posts involving the player. The Rays not detailing the nature of the post, but a source confirming the MLB probe to the Associated Press. Recapping stocks, the Dow fluctuated between positive and negative, but ends up 26 points. The S&P also higher. Late rally for the NASDAQ, gaining more than 1%. And Lisa Brady, Fox News.
All right, and taking a look at your local weather, we do have triple digits for the foreseeable future. That's, of course, in real temperatures. Been way up there in terms of the heat index. Going to stay up there for quite a while. Feels like it's going to be in the 110s for the next several hours uh, throughout your evening before it finally starts dipping back down. Hot and humid for the remainder of the day, and that's basically the story of the week. A slight chance for storms tomorrow afternoon, I think. But other than that, it's just going to be hot and humid for the next several days. Now, a potential cold front could be coming through. That would drop us down next week, maybe, but not too much of a dip. Chances for rain come back late this weekend, early next week. Right now, officially 100 degrees. Feels like 113 here at the News Talk 96.5 KPL Studios. That's a look at your weather, and here's traffic. News Talk 96.5 KPL. Right now, traffic. All right, so the big thing we need to worry about on Johnston, there is a commercial fire. Pete's is on fire on Johnston. We'll have that story up for you shortly at KPL965.com. Otherwise, your after your after school traffic control is really the only thing that we're seeing up on the board right now. Uh, but do be careful on Johnston. Again, that fire, uh, we've gotten a lot of reports on that one. Fire, it, fire department is on scene there. You guys drive safe. The Joe Cunningham Show up next here on News Talk 96.5 KPL. Your safety has always been priority one at GiveMeTheVin.com. At GiveMeTheVin.com, the transaction is online and over the phone. And then we pick up the vehicle with no direct contact and provide your check indirectly. Don't risk your safety with retailers or strangers. Just go to GiveMeTheVin.com, enter your VIN number and a picture or two, and get your best offer quickly and safely. Get your best bid and a check on the spot with GiveMeTheVin.com, America's best and safest car buyer. Sell us your car. GiveMeTheVin.com. So easy you can do it in your eye. LA 22 Offices in Alexandria, Lafayette, and Marksville. Results may vary. Car accidents aren't the only kind of accidents you can file a claim for. I'm Brian Kubro. In my lifetime, I've helped thousands of accident victims. Car, truck, maritime, at work, and more. And while no two accidents are ever alike, one thing is true of all of them. It always pays to do it right. Call me, Brian Kubro, at 337-HELP-NOW or visit Do It Right. Hun, we need to stop putting off getting life insurance. I know. It's just been so busy, and I'm sure the cost is out of our budget. Well, Jen told me that they got a $500,000 term life insurance policy from Ethos for less than $23 a month. All online, with no complicated forms, and no medical exam. All they had to do was answer a few health questions. Wait, no medical exam and all online? I know, right? It's not easy to think about, but... If something happened to you, James and I would be... Okay, I get it. Let's get a quote from Ethos right now. Wow, you were right. There's no medical exam. And Ethos makes the whole online process fast and easy. And look at these rates and coverage options. It's great protection and totally fits our budget. Ethos, they've removed all the barriers from getting coverage. Go to checkethos.com to get your free online quote. That's checkethos.com. Quote based on a healthy, non-smoking 30-year-old male with a 20-year term policy. Rates may vary. The views expressed in the following show are those of the hosts or hosts only. They do not represent News Talk 96.5 KPL or Town Square Media. Good afternoon, Lafayette. This is Joe Cunningham here on this bright, beautiful, and extremely hot Monday. 232-1542 is the number of you want to be part of the Joe Cunningham Show right here on News Talk 96.5 KPL or send a message through the KPL app chat. Be glad to visit with you guys. There is news to discuss as always and i want to start with a local story uh that i wrote about last week and was getting information on and we've we've gotten a bit and 
I'm I'm trying to wade through this. So last week was qualifying for the October 14th election. And locally, one of the big races is the race for mayor president. So we have incumbent mayor president Josh Guillory currently running. You have um, Jan Swift. You have um, Monique Blake-Obue, all three running as Republicans. Well, in the 11th hour of qualifying, a Democrat registered by the name of Priscilla Gonzalez. We'd gotten a couple of messages and really a couple of questions of who is Priscilla Gonzalez. After digging in, what we found is that she ran for mayor of Corpus Christi, Texas, in 2020, picking up 5.2% of the vote there, roughly 5,400 votes. Her Facebook page, which is now, which has since been changed to Priscilla Gonzalez for mayor president of Lafayette Parish, uh, her Facebook page still has posts from her time in Corpus Christi, including one dated December 5th, 2022. So that was just a handful of months ago, reminding voters to get out and vote in Corpus Christi and that if you need a ride, to send the page a DM, a direct message. Gonzalez is running as a Democrat has called herself a lifelong Democrat and leftist with progressive values, but caused a fair bit of consternation among folks online for posting a photo on July 25th of this year saying election season is here. Make sure you are registered to vote. And the picture going with the post are Jeff Landry signs and paraphernalia. So that has caused a lot of consternation. Somebody on her page asked her about her support of Landry. Her response was, good question. I'm not a typical Louisianian, which clearly not. I thought it was Louisianan. I'm a lifelong Democrat and leftist with progressive values, but I also look to support people instead of party politics. Jeff Landry listens to my concerns. And even though I don't agree with many of his beliefs, What is important to me is someone who listens and makes commitments to address concerns. The Latino community is being left behind. The poor are being left behind. The non-elite are being left behind. I am open to supporting the Dem or any other candidate on the ticket, but I haven't had any luck getting responses from anyone on my questions except from Jeff Landry. As a leader for Lafayette Parish, my priority and personal commitment is to listen and respond to concerns and questions. Somebody else had asked on her Facebook page. Um, let me see. Do you just move around from city to city running for office? Uh, she responded, thank you for your interest. Actually, this is the second time I'm running the first being for mayor in Corpus Christi, Texas, where I used to reside. I'm not sure if that qualifies as city hopping just to run for office. I moved to Lafayette a few years ago to be closer to my parents and my young nephew. The problem that I'm seeing with that response, and again, she comments on our page, on KPL 965 on Facebook. Um, somebody commented, so she can't get elected in Texas, so she's trying her hand in Louisiana. She responds, uh, I moved to Lafayette over three years ago. So that raises a question because she ran for mayor of Corpus Christi in 2020. And in 20, in December of 2022, posted on her Facebook page, if you need a ride to the polls, DM me. And she's saying in comments on social media, that she moved to Lafayette over three years ago. That raises some questions and concerns. And if you are listening 
to this program and you are a Democrat, you need to be aware. Actually, everybody needs to be aware of this information. If you want to be represented by a good candidate, you need to make sure that that candidate represents your values. And here you have a person proclaiming to be a leftist Democrat who is supporting Jeff Landry, which, hey, I've got no problem with it. somebody endorsing and supporting Jeff Landry. But as I've said before, people should vote for who they think represents them. And I don't think you're going to find many Democrats who th- believe that a Democrat who proclaims to be leftist is going to support Jeff Landry. I don't think many Democrats are going to feel represented by that. But this is a it's it's a very kind of strange uh, story here because you can go and the way Facebook is set up, you can you can see the pages transparency. You can see name changes on the page. You can see past posts, everything like that, and you can very clearly see that only recently was the page changed to Priscilla Gonzalez candidate for mayor president of Lafayette Parish. Before that, it was Priscilla Gonzalez, mayor for Corpus Christi, Texas. And posts as recent as December of 2022 still suggest that she was living there or at least had strong enough ties that if you reached out to her, she could tell you where to go to get a ride to go to the polls in Corpus Christi. And to say that you moved to Lafayette three years ago for family, but three years ago would have been the time that she was running for mayor of Corpus Christi, that presents some problems in terms of timeline. Maybe she's rounding up, maybe it was two and a half years ago after the election and Corpus Christi was over, but that's still, that's still pretty significant. And that is something that I, I hope local media are looking into because there are a lot of questions there. And I, I say all of this, I, don't, I rarely talk about local issues. I focus a lot on the state and on national issues just because that's where my interests typically lie. But the most important elections that you can vote on are local elections. Those are the ones that impact you the most. And if somebody is claiming one thing, but their words and their actions say something different, that's... That's something that voters need to be aware of. Voters need to be aware. Voters need to be able to recognize when there's an issue with a candidate. Now, she's apparently very active on social media and is answering these questions. And you can go to her page and ask those questions. She appears to respond to them very frequently. But those questions need to be asked. We are in the middle now, or really, I mean, we can say it's just the beginning because qualifying just happened, but all the candidates have been running for a while now. Qualifying just made it official. We're in the middle of campaign season. We're the, in the middle of an election cycle in Louisiana. Most of you listening right now are avid consumers of the news and politics. You guys are more informed as voters than the average voter, more than likely. You should tell your friends to listen to this show so they can be more informed. But I digress. Most people aren't as engaged as most of you listening. But there are some of you listening who get bits and pieces of headlines and you don't get all the facts. For example, the other day, the advocate story was a Democrat jumps into the mayor-president race. There wasn't really much following that, but just doing a little bit of digging reveals that there are some questions there. A self-proclaimed leftist Democrat endorsing Jeff Landry should be a problem for most Democrats. Let's just be frank. 
Democrats aren't going to the polls to support Jeff Landry. Somebody who says they moved to Lafayette over three years ago, three years ago, a few years ago, whatever the claim is, because it's changed a couple times, but was running for mayor of Corpus Christi three years ago, that should raise questions. People should be concerned about that. But most importantly, you guys, regardless of what I say, regardless of what Moon Grafon says, regardless of what Dan Bongino says, regardless of what somebody on Fox News or CNN or MSNBC or anywhere else, anybody says anything, you guys need to take the time to inform yourselves. We as voters have a responsibility to vote based on facts. And we need to inform ourselves. So just note that going forward. All right, let's take a break. We will be back in just a few minutes. Your calls, your comments on the KPL app. 232-1542 is the number. The app, you can reach out through there. Just hit the little text message icon in the upper right corner. We'll take this break. We'll be back in just a moment here on the Joe Cunningham Show News Talk 96.5 KPL. I-10 brings the border crisis to our backyard, delivering human trafficking, fentanyl, and warring cartels. Since Biden can't secure the border, Liz Merle will secure Louisiana as our next attorney general. She successfully fought and delayed the Biden administration's border policies and stopped the revolving door justice system. It's why DAs across the state and the Republican Attorneys General Association have endorsed Liz Merle. Trusted, conservative leadership. Liz Merle for attorney general. Paid for by Liz Merle for attorney general. If you're hiring, it can feel like you're trying to find a needle in a haystack. You can hope the right person comes along, or you can just use ZipRecruiter. And now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. In fact, ZipRecruiter has helped a lot of business owners find their needle in a haystack. Like Marco, president of operations at Telly Tires and Auto Centers. Because Telly Tires has grown a lot in the last few years, Marco needed to hire everyone from a receptionist to a store manager to a head mechanic. ZipRecruiter helps me find all the right people, even the most difficult jobs to fill. ZipRecruiter helps me keep my business running. Take it from Marco and millions of other businesses who've used ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter can help you find the needle in the haystack. See why four out of five employers who post a job on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. And right now, you can try ZipRecruiter for free. That's right, free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash R-A-D-I-O. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter. The smartest way to hire. Paid for by government.com. Have you heard? Morgan Silver Dollars are back for 2023. For the 100th anniversary, the U.S. Mint released the first legal tender Morgans in 100 years. They sold out instantly. Now, Morgan Silver Dollars are back in 2023. Minted in 99.9% pure silver, but only 275,000 coins were minted, and they will go fast. The entire market and experts agree this is a big deal and an amazing opportunity for both coin and silver buyers. Just call one 1- 800-222-3967 and you are guaranteed a 2023 brand new uncirculated 99.9% pure silver Morgan dollar but with limited quantities you must call now to learn more call 1-800-222-3967 plus you'll receive a free bonus Patriots pack new and improved a $25 value free with every order call 1-800-222-3967 now to secure your new 2023 Morgan silver dollars before they are gone that's one 800 222 We are the NFHS. That stands for the National Federation of State High School Associations. But really, what we stand for, together with the LHSAA, are the 110,000 high school sports students in Louisiana. And so we stand. We stand for the runners, soccer, and basketball players. We stand for their coaches, administrators, and officials. We stand for the swimmers, football players, and wrestlers. We stand for the golfers, softball, and volleyball players. We stand as the national leader and advocate for high school athletics and all who participate in them and make them possible. Because it is our purpose to ensure that high school students get to play, perform, and compete together. 
To learn more about who we are and what we stand for, visit nfhs.org. From the moments that shape our lives to those that shape our days, broadcasters are there delivering the most trusted news that keeps you informed when it matters. We are your neighbors, a trusted voice, a lifeline. We are broadcasters. Text TV to 52886 and let Congress know you depend on your local TV and radio stations. This message furnished by the National Association of Broadcasters. To have a look at the latest headlines, head over to kpel965.com. While you're there, hook up with us on Facebook and Twitter. Welcome back to the Joe Cunningham Show here on News Talk 96.5. KPL 232-1542 is the number if you want to be part of the conversation or send a message through the KPL app chat. Billy in Church Point reaches out, and uh, he's got a very good point. Uh, people don't catch on to all of the president's lies by now. The few that this uh, that this candidate tells uh, would go should go by unnoticed, which is sadly true. Uh, we, again, should be paying attention. But anyway, uh, some breaking news you need to be aware of, particularly if your commute uh, is on Johnston Street. The iconic Pete's, Pete's Restaurant and Sports Bar, is uh, it was engulfed in flames today. We have the story on kpel965.com, some pictures and video from the scene there are no official reports of injuries or substantial damage resulting from the fire. We are keeping an eye on that. We will let you know if we have any updates on it. But you do need to be aware that this commercial fire uh, is at Pete's. It is causing problems. And uh, there may still be some police and fire on scene trying to get that under control. So you do need to be careful if you are uh, on the road on Johnston Street. Now, back to our news of the day. Uh, there's, a, there's a story that has been gaining traction over the last 24 hours. Uh, Joe Biden, was while he was on the beach, was asked by a reporter about the devastating fires in Maui and what's happening uh, in Lahaina and, or Lahaina. And he responded with no comment, very cold, very callously. Um, and he's getting, rightfully, a lot of crap for it. Just imagine, just imagine if during Hurricane Katrina, George Bush, when asked by a reporter, had said no comment. They were already trash. Everything George W. Bush did during Hurricane Katrina got negative coverage. Everything was a mistake. Everything was something to attack him over. Imagine the media meltdown if George W. Bush, when asked about Hurricane Katrina, had said no comment. You know that the media would have feasted on that for days. Days It would have been their life-giving sustenance. More than anything else, George Bush truly doesn't care about New Orleans. Well, that's exactly how Joe Biden comes across here. I mean, the reality of the situation is there's not much that he can do as president. The emergency response teams are the ones on the ground, the ones who are coordinating, doing the work. But the fact that he, his response is just no comment is pretty bad. We deserve better. We've been saying that for a while, but it's just getting truer and truer by the day. No comment. No comment on an absolutely devastating situation in Maui. We're going to take this break. We'll be back in just a moment. Your calls, your messages, and more news of the day here on the Joe Cunningham Show. News Talk 96.5 KPL.
I'm Liz Clayman, and this is the Fox Business Report. Stocks ending higher as investors focus this week on minutes from the Fed's latest policy meeting and economic data and earnings reports that could shed light on the health of the American consumer. It's been a tough August for tech, but the sector was one of the biggest gainers. Shares of U.S. Steel surged over 36 percent after announcing that it was looking at strategic alternatives after receiving multiple offers for the company. One of the bids was from steel rival Cleveland Cliffs. An NVIDIA stock pop after analyst at Morgan Stanley named the graphics chip maker a top pick of companies expected to benefit from artificial intelligence. The Dow winners, Apple, Microsoft, and Salesforce. The Dow decliners, Goldman Sachs, Home Depot, and Walmart. The Dow rising 23 points. The Nasdaq up 143. S&P 500 up 26. That's your Fox Business Report. I'm the three Barsky, invested in you. Starting August 22nd, the U.S. dollar may have new competition from a new global super currency backed by Russia and China. And if the dollar plummets, your retirement could follow. Hi, Stephen K. Bannon. I recommend a gold IRA from Birch Gold Group. To learn more, get a free info kit on gold by texting the word SHELTER to 989898. I encourage you to act before August 22nd. Text SHELTER to 989898 to get your free information kit on gold now. Your KPL Commodities Report is brought to you by Broussard Poche, certified public accountants, your firm for a lifetime. Neil Malonson here on the Voice of Louisiana Agriculture Radio Network on News Talk 96.5 KPL. Higher trading for the bean markets at the close on Monday. November soybeans up 18 and a half cents at 1326 a bushel. January beans up 17 and a half cents at 1334 and three quarters. The corn market closed slightly higher. September corn up a penny and a quarter to 475 and three quarters. December corn up a half penny at 47 and three quarters a bushel. March corn up a quarter penny at 501 and a half. The wheat market closed lower on the other hand. September wheat down a dime and three quarters at 616 per bushel. The rough rice market seems Double digit losses. September rice down 35 and a half cents at 1563 and a half. November rice down 34 and a half cents at 1583 and a half. Cotton closing lower as well. October cotton off 164 points at 8765. December cotton down 142 points at 8647 per pound. The sugar market closing steady on Monday. November sugar unchanged at 4098 per pound. Louisiana had a pretty good corn harvest this year. So did the rest of the country. That story from USDA's Rod Bain. The first producer field surveys of this year's corn crop revealed more corn than expected to be produced, up 10% from the previous year. 175.1 bushels per acre, that's up 1% or 1.8 bushels per acre from last year's final yield. That puts our production forecast at 15.1 billion bushels. Lance Honig of the National Agricultural Statistics Service says that yield forecast is the fourth highest on record for U.S. corn. As for production by an annual comparison. We're looking at the second highest production on record. We're only behind 2016. We're at about 15.11 billion bushels. 2016 was 15.15. So we're pretty close. He adds NAS estimates for the corn crop appear to fall in line with what industry analysts expected regarding yield and production forecasts. I'm Neil Malonson on the Voice of Louisiana Agriculture Radio Network on News Talk 96.5 KPL. Hi, this is Kerry Bryson with the Bryson Law Firm. Employee retention credit claims are not easy, so beware of all the new national companies popping up trying to make a quick buck. If a national company files an ERC claim without accurately evaluating how your business was impacted, it can get ugly. You'll get a check, and they'll take their cut, but the claims may be audited years later by the IRS, and you may be responsible for penalties, interest, and potentially criminal prosecution. The Bryson Law Firm, headquartered in Lafayette with offices across the state, knows the law and how to help you navigate ERC claims. They're complex and involve lots of legalities. So don't get sucked in by the national predators who won't be around to answer the IRS's questions after the checks are cashed. Get local legal help. Call the Bryson Law Firm for a free consultation. 1-855-LA-TAX-HELP. That's 1-855-528-2943. Or visit brysonlawfirm.com. LSB filing number LA2314922. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same but is 95% cheaper? And you can get it online? Just go to 4 slash radio. Through HIMS, you'll get a free medical consultation, discreet shipping if prescribed, a 100% online process 
and trusted generic alternatives to the name brands at up to 95% off. That's right. Get generic for Viagra, the same active ingredient as brand name Viagra, but for 95% less. It's the same medication, still prescribed by a licensed medical provider, but with zero copay, no expensive appointments, and no awkward face-to-face conversations. To start your free online visit, you need to go to this exclusive address, 4 slash radio. That's 4 slash radio for your free online visit, F-O-R-H-I-M-S dot com slash R-A-D-I-O. These Acadiana businesses proudly support the broadcast of UL Raging Cajun Athletics on 1033 and 1420 The Goat. News Talk 965 KPL. Classic Rock 1051 and Hot 1079. Acadian Ambulance. Harrison Paint. Baloo's Outdoor and Repair. Ernie Insurance. And Asian Palace Buffet and Grill. Support these businesses that support the Raging Cajuns game broadcast of football, men's and women's basketball, baseball, and softball. Bring all the action into your home, car, smart speaker, on your phone, or wherever you work all year long. And if you'd like to learn more about becoming a UL Booster, it's easy to join the winning team. Support the broadcast of UL Raging Cajun Athletics by becoming a UL Broadcast Booster. Just contact Mary Gallion by calling 337-233-6000. Attention, your money is now controlled by the U.S. government. Picture a world where your every purchase is monitored, tracked, and controlled by those in power to suppress the freedoms of those they see fit. Hi, my name is Jason Hansen. I'm a former CIA officer and New York Times bestselling author. And right now, I've become very focused on the impending rollout of the central bank digital currency. This is not a work of fiction. It's a terrifying reality looming on the horizon. But there is a bit of good news. I've partnered with Advantage Gold to offer you a solution. They are specialists in converting your traditional assets, like those inside an IRA or 401k, into tangible assets such as physical gold and silver. Don't allow your money to be controlled. Claim your free gold protection kit from Advantage Gold. Call 800-900-8000-800-900-8000. That's 800-900-8000. Advantage Gold is not an investment advisor or a tax advisor. Call 800-900-8000. Yes, it's that time of the year again, back to school shopping. And with inflation, we know it hasn't gotten any cheaper. Here's how we want to help you out. Download the KPL News app and click on Hall Pass Cash, and you could win a $500 prepaid Visa gift card. Just follow the assignments to earn points and increase your chances to win. We're making back to school shopping better with Hall Pass Cash. Brought to you by Acadiana owned and operated Mattress Gallery, located on Kali Saloon across from River Ranch. From selection to delivery, it's Mattress Gallery. News Talk 96.5 KPL broadcasting from the Matthew James Tax and Wealth Management Studios. Find out more about how they can help you at Matthew-James.com. Welcome back to the Joe Cunningham Show here on News Talk 96.5. KPL 232-1542 is the number if you want to be part of the conversation. Lots of conversation still to have. If you don't want to call in, you just want to send a message through the KPL app chat, you really should download the app if you haven't already. Download the KPL News app. Sign up there. And what you can do is is hit the little text message icon up in the top right corner. It looks like a little text box. You just tap that, select general message, and you can send a message to this show. And I respond to those both on and off the air. Like I said, I referenced Billy earlier, Billy and in Church Point, who sent a message earlier about the, the conversation we were having then. So plenty of things to talk about. And I want your input on it. Now, I need to talk about Fulton County, Georgia, because that is coming probably tomorrow, the indictment there. In fact, we had a strange moment earlier today where Reuters had announced that charges had been filed, which was kind of odd because the grand jury was still hearing witness testimony and the prosecutor hadn't recommended charges yet. Well, what happened is that the Fulton County Courthouse or the, the, the DA's office 
briefly posted a document listing several criminal charges against former U.S. President Donald Trump. It appeared to be related to his attempts to overturn the 2020 election, according to this Reuters report, before taking the document down without explanation. The document lists several charges, including violation of the Georgia RICO, which is Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act, solicitation of violation of oath by a public officer, conspiracy to commit impersonating a public officer, conspiracy to commit forgery in the first degree, conspiracy to commit false statements and writings, so on and so forth. Lots of charges that will be thrown at Donald Trump if this document ends up going that way. Now, originally there were supposed to be people testifying today and tomorrow, but some of them have moved their testimony up to today. So very early tomorrow, we could see the indictments with Donald Trump having to appear in court probably Thursday uh, for his arraignment. Now, the Georgia case is a very interesting case because of the use of RICO laws. Now, RICO, again, stands for Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations. It's the type of law that was written specifically to go after, like, mob bosses. After the federal government passed its RICO Act, several states followed with their own. Georgia's are probably the broadest, most expansive in the country, if not up there. Georgia has very laud, very broad RICO uh, coverage. So when the state started adopting it, Georgia Georgia expanded it. The federal RICO uh, identifies 27 federal offenses and eight state crimes as racketeering activity. Georgia's RICO includes many additional offenses. Fannie Willis, I think that's how you pronounce the name, F-A-N-I. It's either Fannie or Fannie. I've heard it both, diff- both ways. Fannie Willis, the Fulton County District Attorney, is expected to bring a RICO case against Donald Trump. That's what the document that was leaked today showed. She's used this before. She's, she's prosecuted under the RICO Act in Georgia before, so it's, not, it's, it's something she has experience with. The Trump campaign allegedly illegally tapped into voting machines in Coffee County, Georgia, to review them and pull data from them. The Trump team claims a local elections official gave them permission. That's the primary act here. But a lot of other things are going to be tied into this. See, the Trump team didn't. Trump himself did not tap in to those ballot, to, to those uh, voting machines. Trump himself did not try to do a lot of the things that he will ultimately be accused of in the indictment that gets handed down tomorrow. But what the RICO Act does is it pulls all of these individual crimes together into a criminal organization that they will then use to try to prosecute Trump. The thing is, This is probably the most serious set of charges that will be brought against Trump. I think Mar-a-Lago is the one that will get an actual convention, a, a, a conviction against Trump. I'm not sure that Fulton County will get a conviction on Trump in this. Trump has some defenses that he can use, essentially throwing his legal team from back in 2020 under the bus, saying they were acting on their own. They were convincing me of this. It was them who was orchestrating this. But some of part of this is also based on bad reporting. Something else you need to know, Donald Trump, you've probably heard that Donald Trump told Brad Raffensperger, the Secretary of State of Georgia, 
find me these votes. Find me these 11,000 however many votes. If you listen to the actual audio, Donald Trump never told Brad Raffensperger to find him those votes. What he said was he's trying to find the votes. Donald Trump was convinced of all of these things that happened in Georgia, that the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, that multiple investigations were unable to find. Donald Trump was convinced that it all was there. The question is, from a legal perspective, can Donald Trump say that he was convinced by his legal team to do it? He thought that he was doing the right thing. He thought that he was standing up to corruption. He thought he was standing up to a, to a stolen election. He very seriously thought this and that he did not take an active part in this, but his legal team was doing it. The problem for Trump isn't just the legal aspect, though, and I've mentioned this before, but I've, I've got to keep mentioning it. Trump went from having the most money in the bank for this election cycle to having some of the least he does not have a whole lot of money. He is spending a ton of money on his legal fees right now. And as the legal situation continues to pop up, what we're seeing in the polling is that the bump, the bump that we saw in the polling for the nomination, it's sort of there, but sort of not. In the national polling, Trump is kind of hovering in the same area he was. In fact, as of the end of July, he took a fairly significant dip almost all the way back down to 50% before starting to climb back up again. He's been hovering in the lower to mid 50s for the last several months. He gets a bump here and there, but the bump hasn't been as significant in the more recent bits of legal drama. And Trump's primary donations come from small dollar donors. Well, small dollar donors don't have a ton of money to throw around and that's going to dry up eventually, especially as the, uh, as the legal issues keep, you know, going forward. And as the, uh, as the economy continues to really kind of hover in the same place, if not get a little worse, inflation is still bad in several in, in various areas. So there are a lot of issues that might prevent some of your small dollar donors from being able to give to Donald Trump as much as they have been. And that's the key here. It, it's going to end up being if Donald Trump is unable to campaign and he doesn't get the nomination, you can very clearly look at this data and say death by a thousand paper cuts. And it was very clearly the paper that the indictments were printed on that did it. But keep in mind a couple things. First of all, I referenced the national polling. The national polling is what's gotten people into trouble with calling elections in the past, you have to look at the state level polling and the state level polling is varying wildly between the different states. We don't know in the states that everything is consistent. Donald Trump's 54% overall is not necessarily what you're seeing in some of these other polls. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Real clear politics, you typically go with them and you can find those good polling averages. If you look at the, let's see, the Arizona Republican presidential primary, Donald Trump has 58%. That is to be expected. Arizona is a very big Trump state. But if you, if you go down a bit, the Iowa Republican presidential caucus by the New York Times Siena polling has Trump at 44%. And DeSantis isn't down into the lower teens. He's at 20% there. So state by state is what's really important. And while Donald Trump is able to cover his legal fees, he's not always able to travel to a bunch of different events. Like he went to the Iowa State Fair. 
but can he afford to have rallies? Can he afford to have all of these other events in these other primary states? We just learned today Nevada is going to be the third state, not South Carolina. That also changes everybody's travel plans as they try to get on the ground in all of these different early primary states. The money is going to be an issue here. And if they bleed him dry on money with all the legal stuff, death by a thousand paper cuts. That's Donald Trump's big concern, not the legal stuff. The big concern for Trump right now is the money. 232-1542, if you want to be part of the conversation, we'll take this break. Wrap up the show here on The Joe Cunningham Show, News Talk 96.5 KPL. At the Rustic Renegade, it's all about service and the product. We're really particular about the product that we bring in. We bring in product that we buy. We test, we tear it up, we break it. So we're constantly growing our, our inventory. We're constantly expanding it. And if we find something that, hey, look, a customer had a problem with this or we had a problem with it, it goes away. See the latest from great brands like Remington, Ruger, Smith & Wesson, and Springfield Armory USA. Visit The Rustic Renegade and therusticrenegade.com. What's holding you back from learning the language you've always wanted to know? Too hard. Takes too long. Not with Babbel. Babbel's lessons take just 15 minutes a day. 15 minutes isn't long. Nope. And they're fun. Fun isn't hard. Right. Babbel's interactive lessons, podcasts, games, and more make it fun and engaging. So you don't realize you're learning a language, but you are. And Babbel's lessons are built around real life. You can choose from topics like travel, business, relationships, and more. You'll learn what matters most to you. Plus, Babbel's lessons are designed to get you speaking right away. In three weeks, you're able to start having conversations. Just three weeks? Even better. Since Babbel's lessons are designed by language experts and voiced by real native speakers, you'll get the accents just right and be able to carry on conversations with confidence. Learning a language with Babbel doesn't take long. And with Babbel, it isn't hard. It's It's perfect. perfect. And now, try Babbel free at Babbel.com. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Babbel.com. When you order food for work on EasyCater.com, we've got your back. Real humans are here to help with your order every step of the way, making sure everything goes right, even behind the scenes without you knowing. Confirming and double confirming with the restaurant that everything is on track. If there's a problem, thanks for calling EasyCater. Call us anytime, day or night, and we'll answer in seconds. We're right here with 100,000 restaurants, working hard to ensure the food arrives on time and is ordered. Order 24-7 at EasyCater.com. Paid for by government.com. Have you heard? Morgan Silver Dollars are back for 2023. For the 100th anniversary, the U.S. Mint released the first legal tender Morgans in 100 years. They sold out instantly. Now, Morgan Silver Dollars are back in 2023, minted in 99.9% pure silver, but only 275,000 coins were minted, and they will go fast. The entire market and experts agree this is a big deal and an amazing opportunity for both coin and silver buyers. Just call 1-800-222-3967, and you are guaranteed a 2023 brand new uncirculated 99.9% pure silver Morgan dollar. But with limited quantities, you must call now. To learn more, call 1-800-222-3967. Plus, you'll receive a free bonus Patriots pack, new and improved, a $25 value free with every order. Call 1-800-222-3967 now to secure your new 2023 Morgan silver dollars before they are gone. That's 1-800-222-3967. Selling your car could be a hassle-free process. Get real money in your pocket at DonBoz.com. How does it work? Provide your vehicle information, bring us a title, get a check. No trip to a notary, we handle it all. Find out how much your vehicle is worth by visiting DonBoz.com to fill in a short form or call 844-DONBOZ or simply show up for an in-person inspection. We want to buy your vehicle and we want to pay top dollar for it. Bring us a title and get a check. It's that easy. Visit DonBoz.com today. If a natural disaster comes knocking, how prepared is your family? You can't just close the door on earthquakes, floods, or hurricanes and hope they go away. That's why it's important to make a plan now. Ready.gov slash plan has the tools and tips you need to prepare your family for an emergency. So if disaster shows up at your doorstep, you'll be ready. Visit ready.gov slash plan and make a plan today. Brought to you by FEMA and the Ad Council. I make learning a privilege, not a chore, and frustration a tool, not an obstacle. I'm a teacher. I make more. Make more. Teach. Visit teach.org. Brought to you by Teach and the Ad Council.
Welcome back to the Joe Cunningham Show here on News Talk 96.5 KPL 232-1542 is the number if you want to be part of the conversation. Now, quick programming note. On Thursday and Friday, I will be out. I think we'll have best ofs running. Um, I will be in Atlanta, Georgia, the, <laughs> the week of the indictment. Uh, I will be in Atlanta, Georgia. There is a conference being held by my buddy uh, Eric Erickson. He's got a nationally syndicated show. He is having a lot of the Republican candidates. Uh, he will be. He will have them on stage. Trump will not be there, but several of the other main candidates will be there. And so I'm going to be at that. I'm going to be trying to meet with them. Maybe you know, get a chance to talk with them, bring back some information just for you guys, just for my audience. But I'm going because I want to. I I want to hear what they say, and I want to hear what they say in person, not filtered through the media or social media or anything like that. I want to go and and meet, listen to them, maybe meet them in person. So I'm going to do that Thursday and Friday. I'll be back on Monday. I'm here today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. So just giving you a heads up on that. If you're wondering why there's a repeat of some episode of the show on Thursday, Friday, that's why. Now I had a great call during the break. Uh, Somebody called and asked, with Trump's expenses, does that include the Secret Service? And as far as I know, the Secret Service is completely taxpayer funded, government funded, so taxpayer funded. Uh, I haven't found anything that suggests Trump has to supplement that or anything. I think that's all just paid for out of the Secret Service's uh, budget. But... Everything else, I mean, like $20,000 an hour lawyers, multiple cases he's having to try, a legal team that's stretched thin, having to fly from one court to another. There's a lot. There is a lot, and it's going to end up costing Trump a lot. And that's a lot of money he won't be able to spend on other important parts of the campaign. Now, Trump doesn't necessarily need a whole lot of money on advertising or rallies. Everybody knows who he is. He doesn't have to build his name ID again. But there's still a lot of expenses that he can use in terms of hosting events and things like that that he could really use that money for, but he's having to use a lot of it on the legal expenses. And that's pretty significant in the long run. A campaign, no matter how well-known the candidate is, a campaign needs money to keep going. There are a lot of expenses that are involved with campaigning, and Trump needs that money. But he's not going to have access to near as much because his political wing, his his political team, is having to pay his legal expenses. All right, y'all. That's it for me. 23 hours until I'm back. In the meantime, you can check me out on Twitter at Joe P. Cunningham, Facebook.com slash Joe Cunningham Show, email Joe at redstate.com. You can find the podcast version of the show on Joe Cunningham Show.substack.com. We're going to take this 23 hour break. Shannon is very offsides and very, very much in studio next. Caleb Morse, the Rustic Renegade, looks like he's going to be joining him. You guys will enjoy that show. I'll talk to you again real soon here. On News Talk 96.5, KPEL. LA 22-13417. Offices in Alexandria, Lafayette, and Marksville. Results may vary. You've been injured in an accident, but you're not the only one suffering. I'm Brian Kubero. Representing you means I think of your family, too. The effect of the stress, lost wages, and other factors have on them. For their sake, it pays to do it right. Call me, Brian Kubero, at 337-HELP-NOW or visit doitright.com. 
This is your Louisiana Commissioner of Agriculture and Forestry, Dr. Mike Strain, encouraging you to add fresh Louisiana fruits and vegetables to your daily menu. Fruits and vegetables are an important part of a healthy diet. They provide the body with nutrients and antioxidants that boost overall health and reduce the risk of disease. They are low in calories and taste great. Shop your local farmer's markets, roadside stands, and locally supplied retail stores to purchase Louisiana specialty crops. Louisiana is where the good things grow. News Talk 96.5 KPEL, Brobridge, Lafayette, broadcasting from the Matthew James Tax and Wealth Management Studios online at Matthew James.com. A grand jury picks up the pace on the 